everybody, the Pro Spartan Gamer here with FIFA 15, episode 15 of my Everton career mode. And it's an FA Cup fifth round toy at home against Aston Villa. Made a couple changes just to rest people because we don't want the squad getting tired. As you can see, Morales, Capel and Bartley all missing bits off their energy bars. So we decided to give them a rest and probably Romelu Lukaku, even though he scored that trick in the last game. Going with Ed Air at top, we're going to give Atsu a run out and Serge Narbin Granapig and McCarthy coming back in. Baines is back from injury, but he's not going to be involved in this game or on the bench for this one. Maybe back for the next game, which I believe is against Arsenal in the Premier League. So, FA Cup tie to come first. Let's see if we can do the business and get into the sixth round. Pissing down with rain here at Goodison Park for this FA Cup tie. It's going to wet the whistles. He's been playing really well lately, Corey at the back, let me tell you, against his former club here. But a big, big game. Everton be wanting to close this one out, the form they've been in recently, and end up getting through to the sixth round where they can relax and hopefully get a good cut run together. Stone's back in the side for the first time for a while today. Nastasic's having a bit of a rest. Play from Sebastian. James McCarthy! Oh, the post! Unlucky from James McCarthy. He's been out injured for a while. It would be nice for him to have struck that one in. Good play from the G-man, who's in again here. Oh, Giovinco trying to wriggle through. Been a little bit off colour lately. be nice if he could come back into some form. That's a load of space. That's it again. Narby, what a chance. Giovinco. Oh, Guzan low down. Everton with a really good start here in the first 16 minutes. It'll be disappointing they're not a goal up, I should think. Play. Victor Waniyama. Ball in. Ed Air with the header. Oh, straight into the hands of Guzan. 30 minutes here. Everton rash, but still no goals. Good ball from Narby. Giovinco. Sebastian Giovinco! First goal for an awful long time for the Geo man. Right on the stroke of half time and how he needed that. Went all the way, thought he was being greedy, but in the end it was perfect and it was a perfect finish from the Italian. And Sebastian Giovinco with his first goal for a long, long time has put Everton in the lead of this FA Cup tie right on the stroke of half time. Crucial, crucial goal. Well done, Sebastian Geo man. Half time here then, and Everton taking narrow, slender 1 0 lead in. But that's good enough. So, all we wanted was a lead, and we've got one. Let's have a look if we will make any changes. I think we might. Giovinco looks quite tired. Cardenius is raring to go, and we'll come on. That'll be the only change. The goal scorer coming off. Do a thunderous applause. Applause here at half time. And so the Shermanator is on. Don't want anybody picking up any injuries. This squad needs to be kept intact for the assault on the League and Cup double. Or tries one. Head air for 2 0. Oh, what a chance! Red Ed Air, he's had some chances today. That's it, the post, and that's unlucky. Just going to give a couple bit of game time for Valoy, and played recently, and North Besic, so hopefully these two can finish a job off here and bring us home. Here is Valoy. He certainly won't let anyone down. John Valoy. Oh, nearly scored. Cut in lovely on his wrong foot. That's what John Valoy can give you. Good, good player, John Valoy. John Valoy's in. 
John Valoy. Oh, forces another save from Guzan. The Colombians come on and made a real difference. Real bright spark. His one twos and his touching, and that's a fearsome draw. Even Guzan had to muster all his athleticism to keep that one out, that's for sure. John Valoy at his best. Gardinius does well. Besic. Gardinius again. One more like to Elche. Valoy. Beats a man on the edge. John Valoy. Third effort since he's been on. Narby's gone. And Ed Air. One more. Valoy to wrap it up. Oh, what a great goal that would have been. Great counter attack. Everton flooding forward. And Valoy could have had a hat trick since he's been on. Really could. It's still coming, Villa. There it is, through to the sixth round. Four wins on the spin now for this side. And that was with lots of changes. Who will we have in the next round? I don't know, but that's a comfortable, comfortable win. Courtesy of a Giovinco goal just before the break. And a Corey picks up another man of the match. He is playing very well at the moment. John Valoy was electric when he came on on that left. Don't know if he can play there, but he certainly did today. And he's certainly done well. And Elche again, another 7.3 from the fullback in Baines' absence. And Narbin Granapig was good with 7.3. Onwards and upwards as we march into the next round. There you see it. We should have the winners of that Reading game then, by all account, looking at that. In the quarterfinal, we've got a great chance of getting to the semis here. Really good chance, and then who knows, it's only really Chelsea in that bottom half that you need to fear. On the other side, it's Man City at the top. There's not a lot left else. Got a real good chance of progressing here in this FA Cup. I think we've got Arsenal in the league coming up next. We are having a very, very good run at the moment. Playing very nicely indeed, and it is Arsenal up next in the league. Another big, big game, but the way we're playing at the moment, you wouldn't expect us to come unstuck to them, that's for sure. So here we are with the game away to Arsenal now, and we've gone back to our trusty formation that was doing so well in the games against Liverpool and Chelsea. We brought Capel back in, Lukaku back in, Morales back in, and Bartley all back in, who were rested from that last game, and Akori and Nastasic. Link up again at the back. Elchi keeps his place at left back, even though Baines is now back from injury, but he is on the on the bench with a band-aid hovering over his head. So we might give him some minutes if we can. Stones on the bench, along with Valoy, Eder, Narby, and McCarthy. And lucky people to miss out Besic. And I suppose, well, I don't know really. Um that's about it really. Barahimu and Dongu are having to Look at chances, and McGeady's probably time is up at Everton, and Atsu's on the way out as well. And we said maybe Calavari and Abina maybe go in as well. So we're quite happy with the sort of side that we've got around the squad here with probably Besic, Barahima, and Dongu. Unlucky to be missing out this time, but that's that's the core of the side at the moment, and it's doing very nicely indeed. So let's crack on with this game at Highbury, see if we can make it four league wins in a row. Highbury away, oh Emirates, it's not Highbury, that's back in the grand old days, it's Emirates awaits Everton, and what a side in form of visiting, that's for sure, got to stop Wiltshire, Alexi Sanchez and the like, but we've been so good recently against the top teams, another performance like against Arsenal would do here today, start off with some real meaning into, this, into it, and get up early would be great, Lukaku's the man in form, Scored lots of goals recently in the league. And we can break with this menace. And it's Lukaku who surely got the beating from Murtisaka for pace. Lukaku! Lukaku! Yes! Romano Lukaku can't stop scoring at the moment. Big, big slice of luck there. The way it fell went back off the keeper. He knew Murtisaka was never going to catch him for pace. What a save. 
but it come back out to Lukaku and he's finished it greatly. And that's about his seventh goal in the last four games. He is absolutely on fire. And Murtasaka is going to have a job to keep up with him today. That's something we've got to play on. That ball in behind for Lukaku. Really got to keep playing it. Sebastian Giovinco, deflection. Oh! <laughs> Thought that was flopping in. Ramsey with it. Everton all over him here at the moment. So much pace going forward. They can't handle it. Morales comes short. Bartley! Ooh, flashes wide with his left, but we've seen him fly in the top corner from him before. So he wouldn't have been surprised if another one had gone in. There you see Emirates in all its glory. Seamus Coleman! Oh, I thought that was bound to go in for 2-0. Great chance for Seamus Coleman. How close is it? Is inches for making it. 2-0 just before the break. No more than Everton deserved, to be honest. They've been from absolutely outstanding in this first half. Great save from Howard to keep it in 1-0 right before the break. Arsenal threatening. They haven't threatened or have. That's a fantastic save from Timmy Howard when needed. He hasn't been called on much lately because Everton have been so dominant in games. But that was a crucial hand there just before the break. And then a flashing drive wide. Everton are coming under pressure here. Just need to get in here. Half time. 1-0 lead at the Emirates. Thanks to Romelu Lukaku's early goal. It's been a familiar story of late for Everton. Can we put this one to bed? And get a second goal and make it five wins in a row, four in a row in the, in the Premier League. That would be fantastic. Chelsea are winning. None, none of the other sides are up there, I don't think. No QPR there. No Man City. We will go in with the same team. We won't make any changes. Giovinco already dangerous. A try one. Oh, what a finish from Sebastian Giovinco. Had all the space in the world. They just left him Emirates to himself. And you can't do that as Sebastian Giovinco. Not since he found a goal scoring touch against Villa. Look at all the space. And what a strike. And he's buried it. And that might well be the three points. Great finish Sebastian Giovinco. Fantastic goal. He scored a few this year. And that's the sort of start we wanted straight from the half-time interval. And that might kill Arsenal's hopes there. Didn't expect to be two down so quick. And Coleman does well to intercept. And Lukaku. Giovinco. Looking for the pace of Morales. Couldn't get quite in behind Monorail. Giovinco is going to open up for under another one and it's a carbon copy of the second goal and it's Sebastian Giovinco for 3-0. That was exactly like the second goal. Opened up for him. Could have put it in exactly the same place and he has done. Carbon copy. Near enough. Let's see. Opened up. Great bit of bendage here on it to be fair. Probably better than the other goal. Started at outside the post and brought it back in. Lovely finish. Becoming quite easy for Everton at the moment. Scoring goals for fun and not conceding. Purple patch of their life, to be fair. Looking to try and get Ed Air in, and he does very well. Finds Giovinco. One more for Valoy. Giovinco. Giovinco on a hat-trick. Oh, just clipped the post. Valoy was trying to put it on a plate for him and that's just clipped the post. Gio nearly for a hat-trick. 
Morales can't believe it. Everton have been that good again today. That was a great tackle. Giovinco for the hat-trick. Oh, great save from Shevney. Giovinco hasn't had an hat-trick this season. He deserved one on a couple of occasions. And that was going in. Great save from Chesney. Fourth would probably flatter Everton a little bit. They haven't been probably four goals better. But... Edder. Oh, he's buried it from a real narrow angle. And it is 4-0. And that will do Edder a world of good, that strike. Needed a goal. He's only got the one since he came here. Hadn't had a lot of game time with Rommel Lukaku in such good form. But that's a really good finish from Ed Air from a narrow angle. And that will do in the world of good. And this is 4-0 at the Emirates. Let's just listen to that for a minute. Everton playing fantastically well. And that is a great finish. Keeper probably should have done better. But we're not going to complain. Through a crowd on the near post. Smashed home from Ed Air. To make it a fantastic day at the Emirates. Another clean sheet. Five clean sheets in a row. And more goals to boot. Where does that leave us in the table? Two goals for Giovinco. He was fantastic today. Back to his best. And a 9.8 performance for him. Lukaku and Ed Air also very good. And look at that back five again. Remembering that Elchie started very good again. A Corey Nostagic Coleman. And Morales had a good game as well. In fact, everybody played well. Let's just say that. It's easier. Where does that leave us in the table? Is what we all want to know. Chelsea only drew with Leicester. Christ, they're dropping points. We are up to second. Man City have a game in hand. We are breathing down their necks. And games in hand over Man United and Chelsea as well. We can really cement our position in the top four. This is as good as it's ever been. This is fantastic. 12 games to go and we are sat right in the money seat. To make a real launch on something here. Don't know who Man City play. We will let you know when that game happens. But we are right where we want to be. Right at the crutch there. Fantastic stuff happening. Is there any manager of the month? Player of the month. Who got that? Player of the month is Sebastian Giovinco. Lovely jubbly. Thought it might have been Romelu Lukaku. But it's Giovinco who's got it. It would be really nice for us to get some... Um, a manager of the month award we've never had one of them we're never gonna win one if we don't win one in the run we're on at the moment stoke up next on the sixth let's see where whether the, there has been any talk of manager of the month don't think there is any talk of manager of the month more prize money another 153 phase in the coffers Another rescheduled match, which is Newcastle. We didn't want the Danish job. We don't want any of them, those jobs at the moment. William Carvalho wants out. Well, we will be. We might be. So don't worry about it, mate. Next up, it's Stoke, and that will conclude this episode um, 15. And can we make it three wins in a row for two episodes in a row, which has never happened on our FIFA career mode? So let's just savor in that moment if we can make it happen. So no changes to the starting lineup for this last game of episode 15. Baines has to be content with a place on the bench because, I mean, how can you drop a back four that's now kept six clean sheets in a row, I think, or five clean sheets in a row, and are all going up in stats? I mean, Corey is now at the 76, Elchi up to 74. In the midfield, Bartley's gone from a 79 to an 80 now. Lukaku up to an 81. I mean, the whole team is flying at the moment cannot stop us and the midfield will stay the same as well this starting 11 is on fire and we're not going to change it for anybody and hopefully we can go and beat Stoke and stay in second place right on the tails of Man City come on boys Britannia Stadium Stoke ever in the visitor is the team in form at the moment the team crushing everybody before them we are on the run of our lives and we don't want it to end and there's the table Five points behind Man City. But look at it. Well, it's tight. 
for the top five a bit, but we've got a chance. Those two tits have turned up, but they're not wanted. Why don't they ever listen? We've got two hitmans as managers. Agent 47's there on the side. There's the big boys. And there's the big boy up top. He's had a hell of a season. And he's scoring goals for fun at the moment. I think he's scored in every one of his last five games or something. And you wouldn't back against him getting another one today. And Giovinco, just been named player of the month, is in the form of his life as well. And Everton are in already and it's Romano Lukaku. And it's Romano Lukaku who scored from the Giovinco assist. Didn't he take that well? And there you are, up in the lead after less than two minutes. This side is flying full balls and all at the moment. Bet on them beating any side in the Premier League. Look at that strength from Lukaku and the way he pulled away. What a great slot edge. Good play from Giovinco, but even better from Romano Lukaku. And he scored, I think that's his eighth goal in five games. Everton up early doors here. Didn't expect us to be up that early, I must admit. What a great start to the game. Sebastian Giovinco, player of the month. And if we don't win manager of the month, I don't know when we ever will. If it hasn't been announced already, I can't understand why we haven't won it. Corner to Stoke. Trying to get a reply to that early, early goal. Big header out. Oh, and we finally conceded a goal. Howard was unsighted, I think. Driven in from the corner. The first goal we conceded for an awful long time. Howard didn't move an inch. Fairness, I don't think he would have got it. And it's Miran Doof. Makes it 1 1 here. After 16 minutes, Coleman brings it away. Giovinco finds Wanyama. Diego Capel. And it's Lukaku. Oh, and he shrugged off the man. He didn't realise he had that amount of time. It was a great chance for him to get another one. Half time, but it's 1 1, and there's a game still to be won. And this is unusual for Everton of recent times. Been so good recently. But there is a game to be won. Changes will be made in the second half, but not straight away. Still feel that this is the right team to get the result. Just got to be a little bit more patient. Oh my god, thought that was in, Howard with a great save and then a backward flip over Howard by someone back there and it's a corner kick, Stoke have been controlling the ball since half time, this ain't going to be an easy game to get the points here, need to dig deep here for a moment, it's all Stoke. Victor Waniyama, oh, didn't he hit that, didn't he hit that, that was on the rise, real good save from Buckland. Everton just starting to stir a little bit, are they? Bartley! For a crowd! Oh, and it nearly lollipopped up for Morales. Lukaku! Oh, you'd have bet your house on him scoring in the form he's been in there. Is it just not going to happen today? Let's go to the bench and see if some fresh legs might help. Need to just freshen it up a little bit. And it will be Edda. Edda. And it will be Valoy operating in that wide left area. That happened and worked quite well the other day. And Cardenius coming on as well. So plenty of changes. See if we can unlock the door. We're not happy to take off Lukaku and Giovinco, the main goal scorers this year. Because we know but others can get the goal that's needed. Good pressure though from Morales. Five minutes of injury time, no doubt. Sherman Cardenius. Cardenius! Oh! Stoke will break. 
don't know how the life of me this is still 1-1. One, one. Maniyama. Valoy. Cardenas is behind him from Valoy. And there it is. Everton's first drop point for such a long time. It's a 1-1 one, one draw at the Britannia Stadium. To end episode 15. Disappointment. No doubt. We didn't have to make their goal. He makes some saves in that second half. How it stayed, I don't know. 11 shots. 8 on target. There were only 3 from Stoke. But it's ended up a disappointing 1-1 really when we were better than that I felt. Let's see what damage that does to us in the table if any before we sign out here. There is the table. So Spurs could go above us if they win their game in hand. So, well no QPR can't unless they score a ridiculous amount of goals. We are four points clear of Manchester United in fifth though, so there is a gap more than the game with 11 to go, but Man City could be a massive seven points clear of us on top and looking like Champions League, no doubt about it. It's the FA Cup. Still can't see the FA Cup. She so can, I don't know who that is we've got to play. Don't recognise the badge. But anyway, that's who we've got to play. And then, it, is that right? That it will either be Wolves or West Ham? Or Hull or West Ham in the semi-final? We've got a good chance of getting to the final, if that's the case. Don't know. Anyway, that's wh where it ends. Disappointing to only have that draw to end it. But it's been another good episode for Everton. And we remain unbeaten in about six or seven games and flying high. Pro Spartan Game Right. Cheers, dudes.